Gatsby Coast Stories. Come travel the coast with me and I'll tell you some of its stories, legends, and folklore. Jacques de Lesseps was a war hero, an international aviation pioneer, and a celebrity. Yet his tragic story has often been forgotten in the pages of our past. Jacques was born in Paris on July the 5th, 1883, in a large and influential family. His father, Ferdinand de Lesseps, was known for his role in building the Suez Canal, which in 1869 joined the Mediterranean and Red Seas. He was also the man who formally presented the colossal Statue of Liberty to the United States in 1884. At an early age, Jacques de Lesseps became interested in aviation. In 1903, the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville, made history with their Kitty Hawk Flyer and proved that human flight was possible. He attended a flight school in the suburbs of Paris where he obtained his pilot license in January of 1910. He was a brilliant student and became the first aviator in the world to fly and land at night. He bought a small plane and called it the Scarabee. He became the second person to fly across the English Channel. This exploit brought him to the public's attention and he soon became an aviation hero in Europe. He was then invited to Canada to attend a flying competition. So he put his plane on a ship and crossed the Atlantic Ocean. In his Scarabee, Bay, he made the first flight over the city of Montreal. This spectacular accomplishment made him a hero in Canada. When World War I started in 1914, Jacques served his country as an aviator. Flying mainly at night, he defended Paris against attacks. He also carried out 95 night bombing missions in addition to photographic and reconnaissance flights. He was recognized once again for his bravery and given some of the highest medals as a war hero. After the war, he returned to Canada and was hired by Quebec's Ministry of Lands and Forests to map the Gaspé Coast from the air. Aerial photography at the time was proving to be the ideal method for mapping terrain and forest in regions with difficult access such as the Gaspé Coast and the Rocky Mountains. In 1926 and 1927, De La Seps photographed the Gaspé Coast, often from very low altitudes, and he was the first person to see the expansive beauty of the coast from the air. He is credited with taking hundreds of breathtaking aerial photographs of the gas bay, and several of them were reproduced as postcards in the 1930s. On October 18, 1927, De La Seps and his mechanic, Theodore Chenico, took off from gas bay on a routine photography flight over the Gulf of St. Lawrence. They were airborne and beyond recall when an urgent call was received in gas bay to warn them of the impending storm. This was his last flight over the Gaspé coast. In his will, he had asked to be buried on the Gaspé coast. So the government of Quebec and his family erected a monument in his memory, and it was inaugurated in 1932 in the town of Gaspé. In a letter that he had written to a friend, he wrote, You cannot imagine the magnificent and moving spectacle that can be had in the skies of Gaspé. What a marvelous vision that also offers the contrast of colors between the vast peninsula and the sea that bathes it. On one side, the velvet green and silky of the forest, artistically draped according to the whim of the mountains and the valleys. On the other side, the blue of the sky united with that of the dazzling gulf under the sun. To find out more about Jacques de Lesseps' incredible story, you can find the downloadable ebook on the Gatsby Coast Stories website, and there you will find more Gatsby Coast stories, legends, and folklore.